Also in Westchester and Mamaroneck, several homes and businesses were just destroyed. And that is where we find CBS 2's Christy Kalishian tonight. Christy. Maurice, for sure, this homeowner did not wake up thinking that this was going to be the state of her basement and her garage. She, like many of her neighbors today, have been doing as much as they can to pump as much water as they can out of their homes. Everything, furniture, my kids' memories, my kids' school memories, toys. First-time homeowner Concepcion Costillo has been living on this Bishop Avenue home for a year. She was told this home is not in a flood zone. She didn't get flood insurance and now has to pay for the flood damage to her basement and garage out of pocket. We weren't prepared for this at all. Brian Cardone's owned dimensional fabricators down the road for 45 years. Because of the potential contaminants in the water flooding from the Mamaroneck River seeping into the stone and granite in his business, he has to get rid of it all. He sustained a three quarter of a million dollar loss in our building. He says he came to work unprepared, never notified of the potential flood damage. But Mamaroneck Mayor Tom Murphy says the town did all it could to warn residents and business owners. We sent out uh, emails, texts, uh, Facebook posts about it last night. We made reverse 911 calls. Dramatic rescues were made out of Mamaroneck. Other parts of Westchester County were under several feet of flood water. The Red Cross is stationed at Mamaroneck High School, expecting to take care of 22 displaced families. As for Castillo, the single mother of a teen girl, she's working hard to instill some optimism in her daughter. I guess I was telling her that she's fine, I'm fine. We can fix this with time. A Maurice, a federally funded project aimed at mitigating flooding from the Mamaroneck River is set to start either at the end of this year or start of next year, and it's set to take uh, four to five years. And Mayor Murphy plans on being in touch with FEMA tomorrow. We're live in Mamaroneck. Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News. Okay, Christy, thanks so much.